I just bought the world's cheapest Sprinter van for $1,300. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you what makes this particular van so unique. Stainless steel all over and fiberglass. So you get the whole width of the vehicle with a nice stainless steel washable finish. Once we turn this into an adventure van, this is certainly going to act as a kitchenette area. Uh, notice it's just perfect for it. I never really thought to get the kitchenette area here, given that it can impede door access to the side door. I think this is just going to work really, really well. Of course, this we're probably going to have to hollow out some kind of path. Not sure what we're going to do with this area up here. It does have a rear AC, which I'll probably end up trying to keep. All the 110 power works. Usually whenever I get a vehicle with any sort of auxiliary power system, I generally just want to gut it immediately. But this one, we'll see. Maybe we'll end up keeping it. First things first, I will definitely attempt to separate any sort of wiring that exists from the main engine battery to the rear compartment. I had no idea how much it would have costed to uh, convert this thing into an ambulance. My guess is upwards of 50k initially. This is a rare 2009. The 2009s are probably the, one of those rarest years given that they were imported the least. I believe only around 10,000 units were imported. If you are interested in buying a Sprinter, if you're interested in owning a Sprinter, or if you need to figure out different ways to maintain it, what scan tools to use, I have a channel dedicated just for Sprinters. Take a look. We do everything from ECU programming, tuning to van builds, 